Hello, this is the prototype OS Vent and I'm going to show you how it works. So first I have an on off switch here with which I can turn the ventilation on and off. And then here I can actually uh, go up or down with the pressure here. As you can see, this is the pressure going up and down or I can change it to breaths per minute or I can change it to the inhale exhale ratio which is right now set to once to one. So with, with the function button I can switch between these parameters and set each of these parameters up or down. Then I have two outputs here, uh, solenoid A and B, which can be connected uh, to valves which are connected for inhalation and exhalation tubes. Uh, but in this particular version of the ventilator, I am going to use a vacuum cleaner as the source of compressed air so this is my old vacuum cleaner and uh, this is actually connected on the back as you can see here to, uh, uh, to the ventilator controller and this can switch the vacuum cleaner on and off and this is the pipe coming from the vacuum cleaner and this here is an interesting thing. So this is completely open but because the rush of the air goes through this uh, little of it escapes the side but when the the lung and this is my test lung when this test lung collapses during the acceleration phase then the air comes out through this and exits from here here I have mounted the the BMP 180 you can see the sensor mounted inside it and I've sealed this with cello tape uh, and I've put a uh, um, a, a strip around it to uh, seal it. You don't really require a very high degree of sealing here because the pressures that we're talking about are not too much. Now I'm going to switch on the ventilator. Uh, it's going to be a little noisy but I want you to see a couple of things. First, around here you will be able to see the pressure building up and after this there will be temperature and you can also see the graph of the pressure going up and down. Now it sort of maintains an average of 14 uh, uh, centimeters of pressure let me actually increase that a little more it's about 16 or so and then um, if it goes above it or if it goes below it there's going to be an alarm so let's start it's going to be noisy so you'll not be able to hear me until I stop it again So that's how it works and this is one of the configurations. In another video I will show you how this works with the back.